if you look at the trajectory of the relationship, say in the last two or three decades, I think this hesitant, you know, this hesitations of history uh, actually did exist. Right. But it's also true that they have been gradually shed mm -hmm. over time. Yes. But the question is then of degrees and right. on the spectrum, how far do you go? Yes. Uh, I don't think the Indian establishment or the Indian mindset mm -hmm. is ready to forfeit its foreign policy choices or options to any country, sure. including the United States. Right. But there is a growing recognition of the role which the U.S. can play in our own national goals. Right. And I think that is a change and it's for real. Yes. So if you look at the last, I think, even few years, mm. you know, so many agreements, foundation agreements have been done. foundational. Yes. Uh, the U.S. has changed some of its laws. Right. So a lot of it is happening mm -hmm. and it's happening quite fast, actually. So all this, I think, is good. I think, yeah, that's that's the way to look at it uh, yeah. if you're an optimist. But uh, let's uh, widen the horizon a little bit of the scope of our discussion. And going by the flux in the geopolitical scenario right now, and you were our ambassador to Russia. Yeah. Uh, Russia is an important uh, friend and uh, partner for India. Uh, how would Russia, uh, to begin with, see uh, what India is doing with the United States? No, Russia will always be suspicious <laughs> and they will not be happy. Right. That is absolutely clear. Okay. And uh, they will watch this very carefully. Mm -hmm. And particularly now, when, you know, when tensions between the United States and Russia are actually at a all-time high uh, ever since, I would say, uh, the breakup of the Soviet Union in 91. So, so in 30, 31 years, I think, uh, 32 years, this is the highest point. I think, think this is mm. probably the worst time. Mm. Uh, maybe in 2014, during the Ukraine... Uh, uh, the Crimea thing. And the Crimea. Yeah. Tensions were high, but mm. nothing like this. Right. So obviously, Moscow is not going to be uh, very happy mm. with the India-US relationship. Mm. And But the fact is that you know, we have to also see uh, our own interests right. and make sure that we do nothing mm -hmm. uh, which Russia sees is against its security or against its national interests. Right. So communication is the key, I suppose, with Russia. Yeah, I think we have to keep the dialogue and the channels with Russia mm -hmm. active. Mm -hmm. We have to keep them in play. Right. I don't think we are in a position or it is in our interest mm -hmm. uh, to get into an either-or or a zero-sum approach. Right. And I think the American establishment mm -hmm. and the strategic elites are beginning to understand the Indian viewpoint. Right. That, I think, is again a big change from the past.